All right, so now talking about track groups gives you the ability to edit multiple things all at the same time. Um, you know, if you've got a, you know, when you're doing the drums, you're going to have to select 11 tracks all at once. You can do that with one, just one click. So the way that you create a track group is go to the little menu tab. Well, first you have to go to the mixer tab. And then you go to the, the menu button here. Go to create group. And I just click on the groups that I've got. Hit the return button. That'll pull up our menu. You can label it, so I'll just call it guitars in our fictional little uh, session right now and then you've got a bunch of different uh, things that you can do custom gives you every option edit mix and then if you go to custom it'll show you what the edit and mix is um, <clears throat> so if I click OK it's got the guitar group created I can engage or disengage that so turn it back on and then that way I can then start changing and kind of mixing and that way you can sort of set a rough mix while you're editing to kind of hear what it is that you're doing double click on something it'll move it back to neutral or or it's uh, zero db setting um same thing you know any 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 pan pan settings or anything like that so if you need to undo something quickly you know if you boosted it and then realize you didn't want to do that you can just double click it and set it down um if you make a couple edits quickly in a row it's easy to accidentally double click it and start sending them all over the place so you'll get used to that um <clears throat> So that's basically the track groups, and uh, and that way you can you can edit a bunch of a bunch of things all at the same time. Um, <clears throat> and just to just to show a point, um, to do uh, I'll do a quick little cut. So I'm going to cut just right here, and I'm going to highlight this section. The option button will let you copy something, and if you're snapping to the grid, it'll copy and fly it around nice and easy. So I just copy it down into Pete's thing. Now if I click on it, it's going to select both of those tracks because they're both part of that track group, because we created a track group of Rob and Pete, and then that way they'll select both of them. And that way if I want to then cut again uh, across the guitar tracks right here, I can just hold down the C key, and then I can make another cut or another edit in order to do that. So if I want to undo everything that I just did, um, go to undo history, and that'll open up our window. Um, we've got split sound, you know, you can kind of see what it what it was that you did, and then click about back to there, and that looks like our starting point. So now we're finally ready to try to do a little bit of editing. Um, <clears throat> so as far as the way quantizing really works is we've got these grid points right now. I've got the, <clears throat> whoops, I've got our snap to set to quarter notes, um, which it makes the most sense. I was I was just sort of making a, a quarter note clicking noise um, into into the mic. So if I want to zoom in um, and see it a little bit clear, you see that you've got the number one and then one and then three zeros and then one and two and three zeros, one three three zeros, one and four and three zeros and then two. What that is is beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four, beat two, beat two, beat three, beat four, beat three, beat you know, and it and it continues on. Um, so I just kind of zoom up and get rid of these other tracks so I don't have to look at them. That's right, I've got the stupid group on. Um, so that I've just got the one, the one group, uh, the one track open to edit. Um, grab down here to make it a little bit larger. Now I can see my sound bites pretty well. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is uh, make a couple edits so I can see that this one's a little off the line. So basically what the quantizing thing, you know, there's different ways to do it. You can have it automated, but for where you're at, I think the easiest way to just get the work done and then that way you know it's done is first go over here turn off the grid so that you're you're you can click anywhere and then you just want to go up right to where that waveform sort of spikes and then just click on it and then that's going to cut it and basically just do that along each one of them and do it to a few of them So now I've sliced all of those up right on top of where it looks like that's going to be at. And then the next step is going to be to quantize them. 